In this video today, we're going to do a little bit of feather education. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be explaining is the difference between uh, the different styles of capes, saddles, roosters, hens, uh, things like that, and what the feathers are used for. Uh, a lot of people throw those terms around, and uh, they don't actually know uh, what the difference is and what the feathers can be used for. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the difference between a rooster and a hen. Uh, most people actually probably know the difference between that, uh, but tying it into what the feather difference is, is the big key. Uh, so here I've got two patches from a hen. A hen is basically a female chicken. Then over here I've got two patches from a rooster, and a rooster is basically a male chicken. Now the difference is the length of the feathers that's the main difference so roosters uh, are the male birds and they generally have longer feathers regardless of whether it's on a cape or a saddle uh, the feathers are always going to be long now over here we've got our hens and you can see here I just I'll pluck one because they're so small you can't really see you can see the feathers are short and this is from a saddle this is from a cape so they're both short uh, that is the main difference between just the, the rooster and the hen, is the type of feather. Now you can see here on the hens, uh, most of the tips of these feathers are rounded or more blunt. Uh, they don't come to an even tip, uh, unlike the, the roosters over here, which all have fine-tipped, uh, longer feathers. Now we're going to dive into uh, the cape and the saddle. Now, a cape and a saddle is merely where the feathers were harvested from. So a cape, I've got here two capes. One is from a rooster, one is from a hen. Now, you can see here, we've got this little patch up here. This is basically called the neck area. A lot of people also call capes necks. And the reason for that is because it's harvested from the neck and kind of chest or back and uh, that kind of region of the bird, kind of the front half uh, of the bird. And you can see here on like a hen, you'll get the little wing pads as well. So it's kind of that that front, neck, kind of back, the shoulders, things like that. So that is the main difference. It's just where it is harvested from. So on a rooster uh, cape, also known as a rooster neck, this is bred to tie dry flies. That is the main use uh, for these these days. Uh, that is what a rooster cape is used for. Now over here, we've got our hen cape. Now these are not for dry flies. Uh, these do not make uh, good dry flies at all. These are really for, uh, let's say, wings on a mayfly. It is also for uh, soft hackles. If you're looking for kind of a spidery uh, barbed little feather for like a spidery soft hackle, that's really good. Uh, you also get more webby soft hackles on the wing pads. So you can use these for uh, your soft hackle wet flies, things like that. Now you can also wing streamers with these too. I'll pull, I thought I had one of these feathers handy over here, guess I don't. But you can take one of these feathers and use it on, let's say, oh, a matuka or something like that. I'll pull one from the patch here, just to kind of show you. But you can use it on like a, a little wing, on like a little micro streamer, something like that. So that's really what a hen neck is used for. Do not buy it thinking that you're going to use it for dry flies. Uh, generally speaking, these are more inexpensive capes. So a lot of guys think they can get away with them for dry flies. Not the case. Uh, you do have to spend a little bit more money for a nice rooster cape to get that dry fly quality feather. Now we'll set the capes aside and we'll take a look at saddles. Now again, saddles is just where uh, the feathers have been harvested from. I've got a hen saddle and a rooster saddle. Uh, now on a hen saddle, this is harvested more kind of from the rump, more of the back end of the bird. And on a hen, you're going to get these real webby uh, feathers, but very, very short, just like a hen would be, but real webby, good for your uh, soft hackles, your streamers, making collars, things like that. Now, the total opposite over here is a rooster saddle. Now, a rooster is kind of the show bird. He's the guy who likes to show off. He's the one with the long, beautiful feathers. Uh, so what these are used for are dry flies, once again. Uh, your roosters are pretty much your dry fly birds. Uh, now, they do have other options. I mean, you can use these feathers for streamers and things like that. But really, what roosters are bred for now in the farms is, for the most part, dry fly feathers. 
Now I'm just talking broad spectrum here. Now there's lots of different grades and qualities of all these feathers. So when I say roosters are mainly bred to tie dry flies, well, I mean, that's not 100% true all of the time. Uh, here I've got a rooster cape, but the, or a rooster saddle, I'm sorry, just like a rooster saddle here. Now this one's a little different. This is a low quality budget saddle. This is not made to tie dry flies. Even though I told you that's mainly what roosters are for, uh, that's not what they're always bred for. Some of the lower end birds uh, that don't have the genetics to uh, make these high quality dry fly feathers, these are bred for uh, streamer feathers basically, for woolly buggers, things like that. Now, when we talked in the beginning about the difference between roosters and hens, I still said roosters have the longer feathers. Well, that is still the case even with a lower quality uh, saddle from a rooster. It still has long feathers, uh, they just don't have the fine feathers to tie dry flies. So the biggest difference between those roosters and those hens are just, it's merely the length of the feathers. Now colors is all just uh, different to the bird. There's natural grizzly colors. There's just straight brown colors. So the color does not necessarily have to do uh, with whether it is a rooster or a hen. Uh, with that said though, there are specific colors that are to a rooster or a hen. Uh, but the color itself is really just the color of the feather. A lot of them nowadays are dyed, uh, so they can dye the colors of these feathers. Uh, it just really depends on also the line of uh, birds that it comes from. So here we've got the high and dry line. So this is just the genetics uh, of this bird. And a lot of times there will be specific colors uh, within this, this genetic line uh, that they can hatch and uh, use for like, let's say dry flies, specific colors. Then there's lower quality birds here. This is called a 4B cape. It's kind of the bargain bird. And the genetics for these uh, is very basic. Uh, they're made just for these uh, more economy style feathers. And there are gonna be colors within this genetic line uh, that are specific to that genetic line as well. So hopefully that kind of starts to take the mystery uh, out of feathers for you. Uh, we'll do a recap real quick on the on the main difference. The hen capes you can rec or the hen and rooster capes you can recognize from the little neck region at the top. So if you see that you automatically know it's a cape. And then you can look at the actual feathers of the bird. You can look are they short and more rounded? Then you know it's a hen. Are they long and finer? Then you know it's a rooster. And then you have your saddles. Now saddles is just merely where it's been harvested from. It's been harvested from the back end or rump kind of region of the bird. And here we've got a uh, hen and we've got a rooster. And then again, does it have short rounded feathers or does it have extremely long and thin feathers? And you'll know it's a hen uh, or a rooster if uh, the feathers have those properties. So, and that is the main difference between feathers. And hopefully that helps you helps you understand what your feathers can be used for and uh, what you need to buy for your next fly tying application. And you can find all these uh, range of feathers from Whiting on our website in theriffle.com.